Hi guys, it's Bob from Greybeard Models and welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're going to have a look at a, a final reveal of the KT Ambulance, the Gecko one. Um, it is a final reveal, the diorama isn't finished because um, I've had some problems with the figures, not surprisingly I suppose because I'm going into a whole new area there that's uh, where I'm having to learn a lot. So uh, before we go any further, let's stop waffling and we'll go and have a look at the KT. So we'll start on this side, uh, this obviously the driver's side. Um, got a lot more of the weathering done. I've now got the mirrors are on, doors are on. Um, put a bit of stuff in the in the back there. There's a helmet and a couple of rucksacks. Come round this side. Uh, door swung back. Hood's open now and the side panels down here by the wheel um, and if you recall from the the last video um, I was going to have the figures in this area which is why the the vehicles at one side of uh, of the diorama base um, I've repainted some of the gravel and stones that I've used here um, it you know the Katara depression was a really awful place if you look at if you look it up on on sort of Wikipedia it, it it's terrible there's some awful you know it's an awful place to drive a vehicle um, it would be awful nowadays you know with modern 4x4s um, but back in the day um, this Katie ambulance was only a two-wheel drive uh, tires weren't particularly that good but they, they were all, all that sort of okay so uh, the drive across the Katara depression would have been an absolute nightmare to do um, I did the the windscreen um, the windscreens on, on on the vehicles during the desert campaign they what they did was they they sort of painted or or in some cases they used grease um, to block off the main um, size of, of the windscreen to try and stop reflection on the glass um, for vehicles to be spotted but obviously they had to leave a gap in the middle for people to be able to drive, uh, see through to drive um, so what I did with this this rather than use in the kit they come with uh, with a, a decal that goes around the, the, the windscreen there but rather than do that I decided to ha actually hand paint that um, and leave in the streaks because I, I felt that sort of looked more more realistic to the the sort of time of <laughs> and what they did so anyway the, that's pretty much the Katie finished um, the next bit is to get on with with the figures and uh, get those in place um, there's a couple of little things that actually I did, I did mean to point out now I think about it so in drivers the drivers on driving on 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 the uh, right obviously because it's a british vehicle uh, so on the seat in here i've got uh, um, captain anson's cap and his binoculars on the seat there i thought i'd just add that little detail in there and uh, on the mirrors um, i've actually used the chrome foil that which is the um, it's the um, bare metal foil uh, it's used, used in cars and stuff and car kits and I put small small pieces of that in there just to so there is actually a reflection if you can get down and, and have a look there is actually a reflection but um, yeah I'm quite pleased with the outcome it's uh, it's come together quite quite well um, it's a bit tricky in places you need to sort of think ahead a bit but um, yeah apart from that it, it's all good there's a couple more things that I'm I'm still working on really just to just to finish off um, I've got the the steel cable the tow cable to go round the round here and the sand mats have got to go on but um, apart from that it, it's it's all pretty much done and uh, let's have a look at the figures because that's where the problem lies at the moment <laughs> Right, well with the figures, um, they've actually got a, um, a coat of um, matte varnish that I've just put on them 
um, and I just wanted to see if that that sort of helped um, with the issues that I've got. The one figure that I ca that came out really well, I think, is is the nurse figure. Um, I'm quite happy with her, um, but I'm not really happy with the hair. The hair colour, I think, is a little bit too yellow. So I just need to really sort of tone that down. Um, the Captain Anson figure, I'm, I'm quite okay with. Um, it's 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 all right. Um, I think I could have done a better job with it, but I think it's okay. Um, the Master Sergeant um, Mechanic Sergeant Major Pew. Um, Having looked at it and, and had it in position on the diorama, I'm not really happy with with the way he, his arm is. Um, in the actual figure that I I robbed the the arm off, he's actually holding something in that hand. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh. Why is it I always get a cough when I'm filming? Anyway, never mind. Um, so having looked at this, I'm quite happy with the way it's, it's come out. But that hand is, is giving me an it. I'm not happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sever his hand at the wrist and, and turn his hand round. Um, because I don't, I don't think that looks really well. I've also looked at some of the other kits that I've got. And I think I can actually get away with changing that hand. So I'm going to revisit this figure. And I'm not happy with that. Um, this is... This is um, Vanderpoel, the, the South African. I'm okay with the figure, but the straps on the on the rucksack, um, I'm not entirely happy with. Um, so I'm going to revisit that whole side. Um, they're okay, but I suppose I'm I'm critical critical of my own work. Um, they're sort of okay, but I'm not happy with them. Um, I think I could do better. So I think for the purposes of of the diorama, I can get them in place on the diorama, but there's there's more to be done. So what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just change change the camera around and uh, we'll put them on the diorama and see what it looks like. So here's 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 where the figures are going to be placed on on the diorama and um that works for me um you know could could be different things but i think you can see from it um there's a couple of things i think with the figures um that i needed to do one was change the hand position here or on pew um i'm quite happy with the those two sort of standing there round round the cook pot and Vanderpoel disappearing off into the desert um, with his radio pack so yeah I'm quite happy with that um, I might look at redoing the hand there because <laughs> the, the spade has just fell out of his hand so it's uh, um, yeah I, I'm, I'd only just put that in there just to place it but yeah he uh, I'm not not entirely happy with that so figure wise um, yeah the project needs more work and I've learned a hell of a lot from that vehicle wise great little kit can't can't really fault the kit that much it's full of detail full of, full of um, really nice touches just needs a little bit of a tweak on the on the instructions but um yeah um i've got another one ordered and yeah be building another one um at some point for another project um and it's um another k2 but the um gecko are bringing out um, a general service truck version uh, which is quite good and um, yeah um, looking forward to building that and putting that together with something else so yeah anyway there you have it that's the K2 KT ambulance by Gecko in a little diorama 
with some figures that need some work and uh, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it look forward to seeing your comments and uh, see you again soon bye for now